Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Eustace Farmer and in this mod review we're going old school. Right after this. Silent scan. Alrighty, so I hope you're all doing well today. So what are we doing? We're looking at the Ursus C360 and the UTB or the Universal 445 DTC and the Fiat 540. So since we're down here, let's start with the Fiat. Now in the counterweight section, you're going to come across two counterweights for this model. It's a 440 kilogram and a 600. Um, they're not engraved, but you can certainly tell the difference by their size. Not a problem. Now. Overall, I gotta say, I like this tractor a lot. Um, it's got a great sound, which I'm gonna show you. And um, not a tremendous amount of detail, but for me to bang around the farm and just get that old school feeling, it's good enough. But there are things like, let me bend down here, um, the tires, very old, blocky, pixelated textures, even on the engine, um, you know, kind of pretty old, and you know, texture wise. Um, I do like the top portion though. It's got the old rusted seams on there and everything and you got the old dirty shift knob in the middle. Um, so overall I do like the tractor and I will use it. Um, but it does have some detail issues. It would be really nice if it was up to the FS17 uh, spec. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. So there's the motor sounds for you. I'll give you a first person view. There we go. Got a horn. Signal lights front and back work. And there's your headlights and your work lights all working. And there's your beacon light. So I do believe, let me look over here and see if it'll flash onto the wall. I think this is the, oh it is, it's the new style. So there you go. So we got that. So as far as implements go, um, I will say I think most of the in-game, the smallest in-game stuff is kind of really inappropriate for this, um, as you see. But I'll hook up just so you can see, yeah, there you go, okay. <laughs> so I got the old donkey kick going there. Yeah, so tank going to work out with that stuff. So I'm still waiting for them to come out with some old kit um, with a lot of the smaller scale um, implements like we had in FS15. Um, those would work out perfect for these little guys. But this one can do some light duty stuff, as with the other ones can. Um, if you wanted to use the small Cavernland spreader or cedar. We'll hook up to that one just to show you. And I'll pull forward. And even that brittle cedar over, uh, fertilizer spreader, I'm sorry, um, works out very well on this. Um, and as you see, it all matches up very nicely. Nothing is floating on that. We'll just leave that there because we'll use it on the other ones. So, now, for these kind of trailers here, the AgroLiner, the hitch sits too high for this one. As you see, the back wheels don't even roll. <laughs> but it does do very well with some of the lower hitch models, like the Dolly trailer. And if you wanted to hook your little Brantner trailer on there, it'll work just fine. There we go. So as you see here, the wheels are still on the ground. It pulls it just fine. I don't want to pull it too far because I have to back this thing back up. <laughs> okay. It's even got a nice shutdown sound, so that's nice. The Universal comes in two colors. You get your choice of blue and red. It comes with a counterweight down the counterweight section. There's no color choice on that. You don't need it because the bottom portion of both of these tractors um, are the same color, so you can only alter the top. There's our startup sound. 
comes with your front loader attacher option. First person view. Got some nice pep to it. This is one of my favorites as far as the small tractors go because it reminds me a lot of the 698, the Massey 698. There is a Massey 698 out there. I mentioned it in one of my um, old stream episodes, um, but I, I will not use it and I will not promote it because um, it was done without the modder's permission and I was in direct contact with the author of the 2015 version and he did not give permission to have that done, so I won't be showcasing that. So this does come with your basic IC. It opens up these two doors and your back window. And to close the doors, just click on the little blue out there. You can't really see it on this one, but you can grab it. It's not too fussy. Overall, love this thing. So one little oddity uh, I should mention about this one, going back to this one because I forgot to tell you, the tires. When you get them dirty, when you're running around on the field, it's just fine. But when you start driving on the roads and stuff, um, the dirt disappears and they will self-clean. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> So that's going to save you some water. Okay, so the Ursus C360. It comes with the wheel weights and your standard without the wheel weights. There's no color choice. It comes as you see it. It's great the way it is. I personally think so. It's got that nice aged look. It's got a built-in counterweight in the front. Um, and the motors just have that beautiful old worn oxidized detail to them really really nice um, even here this is what I like too you could tell that the farmer has been keeping this tractor up over the years um, he's you know giving it a coat of paint and you can see there's a little overspray on the Ursus sign little details like that I just love that kind of stuff um, and you can get right up in close on this and let me see if I could do it without jumping all over the place um, and you can see that you're not going to get any of that pixelated blockiness very well done the linkages in the back, they look like they have been well used. And boy, does that seat look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't forget to park it out in the sun and then wear your shorts. <laughs> it's got a great startup sequence. You got the smoke coming out of the stack, and so it's environmentally friendly. There's the motor sound for you. And here is our first person view. It's not going to pick up any of these implements, or it will, but it's really not going to use them very well, so um, those are a no-go. But you can certainly jockey them around the yard with this tractor. Um, it's going to want these smaller ones here. I did test it on all three. It works fine. Um, it will even use that seeder, no problem. I turned it on and did some seeding with it, and it it powered right through it without a without an issue. There you go. All the linkages they match up very nicely. Nothing's floating. Hooking up trailers. Well, obviously one of this size is going to look absolutely ridiculous, and I probably wouldn't pull this full. <laughs> but you, like I said, you could certainly move it around the yard from place to place. So it does pitch down a little bit but it's still working. It's still rolling along. And of course this one hooks up perfectly. There's your rear signal lights. There's your front ones up on the fender. There's your headlights. And your rear utility light. Now listen when it shuts down. Did you hear that little ramp? So it's got like a little parking brake sound built into it. Really clever. Um, Love this tractor. I think it's a, a nice addition to any um, old farm, big or small scale, because like I said, if you're not going to use it for large scale work, obviously, you can certainly use it to jockey things around. Okay, so let me just show you the error log. As you see, it's clean. There's no errors on any of them. Um, I like to look at my log when I first purchase it and it hits the ground to see if anything comes out of it then. And then I get in, I start it up, and I drive it around a little bit and see if it generates any errors doing that. Um, and these have been fantastic. So let's grab out the tablet here. There we go. 
and we'll jump into the store and we'll have a look at the specs quick on these. So the counterweights you're going to find in counterweights, and that's under cars. So here's for the Fiat, 440 kilogram and a 600 kilogram. And then down over here is a 600 kilogram for the Universal DTC tractor. And then for the tractors, you're going to go in, you guessed it, tractors. So here's your Universal 445. Front loader attacher is optional at $800 extra and choice of paint colors. So they do charge you to choose the paint color. <laughs> That's 800. So 33 kilowatts of power, 45 horsepower, 60 miles per hour is the top speed at a $45 a day upkeep. And uh, I'm assuming that's a 40 liter gas tank. So the Ursus C360, $3,200. Engine setup is standard or 69 horsepower turbo. Woohoo. <laughs> standard or wheel weights are the two options with that. So 51 kilowatts, 18 miles an hour is the top speed, 69 liter fuel capacity, $215 a day upkeep. And our friend the Fiat. $6,870. You can choose either orange or white on the rim color. Now, the 420 is a 42 horsepower. 450 is 45 horsepower. 480 is 48 horsepower. 500 is 50. 540 is 54 horsepower. $25 a day upkeep. 40 liter fuel capacity. 24 miles an hour is its top speed. And you get standard wide tires, DT four wheel drive, and that's it. Now, while I'm in here, I want to mention one thing. I did come across this job here the Lamborghini 1R from the mod hoster website um, had a legit mod hoster download link as well so it downloaded very fast and easy the reason why you don't see it in the showcase is because there's something wrong with the mod description XML you click on it to read it and it just I briefly saw something and it all disappeared um, so what that did was when you go to purchase it and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to throw errors but um, it gets stuck whether you lease or buy it It'll sit here and say purchasing, but it won't happen. So you press your escape and get out of the, the menu here, and it, it's fine. But it will never hit the ground. <laughs> so um, if you run into this tractor over there, I would wait um, until the author does some work with that. Not recommended. So there you go, folks. I tried to keep it brief for you. If I miss something that you would like to know, please let me know down in the comment section. If you just want to say hi, that's great, too. Um yeah please let me know what you think uh, leave links down in the description for all of them um, even though they come from the in-game uh, farm simulator menu I still like to download the mods from their website because it's much faster especially with maps it takes forever to download a map through the in-game mod hub menu I still always go to the website and it's dramatically faster um, I'm sorry for the console uh, people you have to go through the mod hub in game menu uh, I'm assuming um, but for the PC users go to the website it's a lot easier um, alright so I want to thank you all very much for tuning in and until we meet again my friends take great care of yourself okay and bye bye for now